Hey, coffee lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. I have a special guest from Italy with BWT, right? Sergio yeah. Barbarizzi? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna talk about water quality, right? It's important for two reasons when you're using an espresso machine. And what, two, what are the two reasons it's really important? Oh, it is absolutely important. This is what we've discovered in the last, let's say, 15 years of researches around water. And the main two reasons why we are uh, trying to detect the water quality is that the water extracts the good part of the coffee, mm -hmm. so that the fruit and the flavor it tastes that we are searching from a coffee cup are extracted by the substances that are inside our water. And the second reason why is that because the uh, scale mm -hmm. that build up in the machine, we want to avoid it, absolutely, because we want to guarantee a long life of our equipment installed at the coffee shop. And in order to do this, we have to reduce the quantity of calcium creating the lime scale, simple as it is. Pretty, pretty, pretty straightforward, um, and we're going to show you how the two two water tests that you need to do really to know what how you need to treat your water. Okay. Um, and you know, people who've made a really big investment in a home espresso machine, you don't want the scale, especially in the dual boiler machines, which are difficult for home users to descale or follow. In fact, most manufacturers wow. are going to tell you not to do that. Yeah. There's a lot of risks involved. But let's get into the water test. We have um, the BWT test here, which we yeah, have available. Yeah, that's what we provide to our customers. Yeah. And we have two tests, right? Tell us about what we're going to test for. Uh, yeah, we have two tests basically because Lime scale mm -hmm. is forming into our boilers because calcium carbonate, that's the, the sum of the two makes the lime scale, mm -hmm. uh, precipitates when the water is heated up by the heating element in the boiler. Mm -hmm. So in order to understand how much lime scale uh, capability has our water inside our boilers, we have to measure separately the total hardness, that's the amount of calcium ions that we have in the water, and the carbonates. That's called, even in chemistry, the alkalinity. The two combined together can potentially create the lime scale. So we have to characterize our water uh, knowing exactly how much calcium and how much carbonate we have in the water. And it's very simple. With yeah. these two drop test kit that we provide, we just have to start, I always start from, I don't know why, I start always with total hardness. Okay, and this is some uh, of our tap water here. Yeah, okay. So we try to understand how the water is in this place. Yes. Now. Yeah. And, and what we and what we're going to come out with is we've got we'll have a graph at the end that'll show us what sort of filter would be best suited for yep. us or for somebody else depending on your results. Yeah. Not only we uh, when we measure when we measure the water and we get the result out of this test, we will know exactly how much extraction power mm -hmm. has this water toward the coffee. Okay. And if we have to reduce the content of lime scale, or maybe it could be that we have to increase it a little bit. Yeah, and we're going to talk about some bottled water we test. Question I get all, should I just yeah. use bottled water? <laughs> that's, because that's very, two yeah. very different results. Uh, mm -mm -mm -mm. So let's get to the test. So let's though. try this first, okay? Yeah, so total hardness, so, right? Uh, we have these small glasses here with a blue line that's mm -hmm. uh, at 10 milliliters. We okay. try to be as close as possible to the 10 milliliters. Shot pitchers making that easy. I like okay. that. Okay, <laughs> then this blue bottle containing this drop uh, test kit. Okay. This this green substance, nose down, one drop in, counting even the first drop. Okay. Rotate this one, and the water turns to a pink color. Okay. Uh, if it's pink, it means that there is some hardness. Now okay. I have to add drop by drop until the water turns to green again. And we're counting so the drops. Count one. Yep. Okay, I got the one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. So seven till we went green, right? Yeah. That, that was so hard. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh -huh. Write, it, write yeah. it somewhere. Yeah. Okay. We have seven drops of this. Okay. Of calcium. That's the total hardness. Now we test the carbonates, even called in chemistry the alkalinity. Alkalinity or carbonates? Okay. Alkalinity. Yeah, okay. You one. have to count, right? Okay. One. This solution inside here turns the water to blue. Okay. And then we have to search 
the drop that will change the color to red again. So, one, one. two, three, four, four. Four. So seven here, four here. And that, those drops, they equate to a, ref, uh, to a hardness, right? Uh, yes. So uh, that's... It, particularly speaking well, of these two drops, they are uh, the concentration of the drop is uh, calculated in German degrees. Okay. Uh, so seven and four, they mean that in expressed in ppm, mm -hmm. we are around 120 uh, ppm of total hardness and 90 ppm of alkalinity. And we get to the parts per million by multiplying by 17.9, but yep. we don't have to do all this hard math, really. No. <laughs> we're, we're doing this for well, you. What matters to us in this moment is that we have now uh, mm -hmm. a precise idea mm -hmm. of how, how our water is uh, uh, contain, containing some substances, in particularly speaking about calcium and carbonate. Mm -hmm. And now we can easily refer to the SCA diagram of the perfect water for coffee. Okay. And we know that this water mm -hmm. is slightly higher than desired to extract a perfect coffee okay. and probably with this water we would in the long term because it's not really that hard okay. in the long term this water will would fill the machine with lime scale so this water is a water that has to be r slightly reduced in terms of total hardness and alkalinity and this can be easily done as you know mm -hmm. uh, with filtration cartridges or other methods and I've, i do have some of those here but let's talk about it. i'm going to put up this chart so we can see kind of like how we might choose a different BWT filter solution, right, for our case, or depending on your results, what filter solution yeah. you should take. So we were at seven and four, right? And we have, we have this nice graph that you've made here that'll kind of help us choose the right filter. Yeah, so what would you suggest fact, here? Uh, in this case here, with this kind of water that we have found out with the two drop, drop test kit, uh, I would suggest to go with the best max premium mm -hmm. uh, because this would reduce uh, for sure, slightly the hardness, as we said, exchanging even some part of the calcium with magnesium ions. That's a particular recipe uh, of us at BWT because we know after the last researches that, that have been done in, uh, in, our, in our market, in, our, in the coffee market, that uh, magnesium is one of the best extractor possible toward the acids that are part of the coffee. You know, coffee it's really going to help bring yeah. out the flavors, the, the flavors more. Yeah. Then, and it's a better extractor, right, than calcium, or if you're doing calcium, softening. Calcium is actually a good okay, extractor, but okay. we can't use well, we it. we don't want it because we of the scale. We don't want it, yeah. But, it's, but it is better than, say, if you were softening the water, correct, with a uh, sodium solution? Yes, yes, because if you use a softener, that's the traditional way, very old way of treating mm -hmm. the water, when uh, it works, we okay. cannot say that it doesn't work. But sodium isn't a good extractor at all. Okay. Uh, so the, uh, the risk is that using sodium water, we leave the good acids, mm -hmm. giving the fruity flavors inside the coffee, and we don't bring them down in the cup. Okay, and we've got a couple of the solutions here. Now you talked about the Best Max Premium. Yep. This is this a, is a, a one great one for um, using for a plumbed in machine, obviously. I even know some people who will put a tap at the sink and take water out of this, so it's just always yep. available. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the solutions. Um, another solution is we have here, are the uh, these guys right here the best saves? These just drop into a reservoir, so it's yep. the same. It uh, works exactly the same, right? It's, the, it's the exactly the same resin that it's inside the cartridge. Mm -hmm. It's only using these, let's call them resin bags, mm -hmm. uh, that you can simply put into the, your uh, internal reservoir tank of the coffee machine that you have at home, and it does. It makes completely the same job. And then we have yet another solution. So that, that can work for reservoir. It does need some time in the reservoir to do its job, right? So uh, it's something. better if you, if you put um, uh, the new water, when the, when the reservoir is empty, it's better mm -hmm. to put the new water the evening before. So, so fill it, it, at it, night. it lets the time to the resin bag to work a little bit uh, in the water because there is no uh, straight passage f uh, with an inlet and an outlet like in right. the cartridge. Okay, and then we have the penguin pitcher. Now, this is one that we use all this the time. This is really great. Um, this is great for your drinking water, too, because there's yep. some health benefits, really, with magnesium. Yep. Um, and it uses a filter like this, and again, it's the exact same process that's happening in this as would happen in the Best same Max one. Premium or with yep. this. And then there's, we do have these in-reservoir 
the best cup, which you can attach uh, inside the, the reservoir. Yep. Um, and get instant filtration as opposed to waiting for, say, the power. So maybe if you're going through more water and want an in reservoir so solution. I would say that they are all instant nice. filtration except for the resin bag it, that yeah. takes some time in order to come to the correct uh, hardness and the release of magnesium. Okay, now a question I always get is, you know, people know they have really hard water, or maybe they're using, they have a well water or something that's not so great, or so they'll say, hey, why don't I just use some bottled water, right? <laughs> I'll be fine just using bottled water, and what's the issue with that, right? Uh, this is a really funny story that mm -hmm. happened even to us. Uh, people call us and say, I, I'm using bottled water, I'm using mineral water, so I, I should be safe. Mm -hmm. uh, no. No. No, basically no, because it depends where the... Uh, the source that they are taking the water from because before they bottle it. Now, so, we got two different results here. We have two different brands of bottled water, our own Wegmans water. If you're in the Northeast, you're probably familiar with Wegmans. And we have the Poland Spring. And we did, we're not going to test it here, but we did earlier test both of these, right? Yes. And the Poland Spring, tell us about that. That was actually lacking uh, minerals, right? Uh, it's close to distilled water. It's a water that really needs minerals. Uh, mm -hmm. So the risk is using that water in a coffee machine. Uh, that machine, that cough, that water will result in a, a very weak extraction, mm -hmm. probably resulting in a sour coffee. A sour coffee. And I know that you guys do have, like, for if you have an RO system or something at home, or you have some very, very, very soft water. I have one back here, the Bestman, which will remineralize your water, right? Yes. Yeah. That that cartridge is the one that gives back to the car to the water. Uh, 20 to 30 ppm of extra uh, extra, extra content, extra hardness mm -hmm. that will help for sure to extract the perfect the perfect cup. And then we got a, again a very different result with this water, the local from our local supermarket, what the Wegmans water, <laughs> which was much harder than our tap water. Yeah, when, when we tested it, actually, it was a big surprise for all of us because yeah. we expected a result like this one because mm -hmm. usually the, these bottled water are very low in content. Uh, and it was in, instead it was like what we have written 13 drops 13. of total hardness and eight of uh, alkalinity so even harder than the water that we have found out here from the tap so this would really be this you this probably if you use this long term in your machine you're definitely going to have some scale yeah you're going to yeah. kill that you're going to kill the the heating element in the boiler very soon but i think i think the great thing one of the things i really love about the these bwt products is if you use them as directed you're not going to have scale. Yeah. It's just not going to scale. And you're going to have great flavor, too, because you have the right mineral level um, for good yeah. extractions and that magnesium. Not that only the level, even the right minerals. The right minerals, the, right. The, the quantity and quality, the, the, both are very important. Which minerals and how many? Yeah. It, one other question I get all the time in the comments, and I've done a lot of videos on water quality before, is what if I have a whole house softener system? What do I do then? Oh. <laughs> it's this, a loaded question, you, you, I know. You really want to complicate my life. Yeah, <laughs> the softener, technically speaking, is, an, uh, is a, a resin-based exchange uh, system that catches all the calcium ions mm -hmm. from the water and exchanging, exchanges them uh, with an equal quantity of sodium ions. Okay. Uh, this result in a water that has the same total dissolved solid, solids in terms of quantity, mm -hmm. but has changed the quality of the ions. So no calcium anymore, exact same quantity of sodium. The sodium is not a good extractor, unfortunately, in terms of coffee in the cup. Mm -hmm. So uh, the only thing that you can do in that case is talk with your plumber and try to open a little bit the bypass in the, in the softener, if there's one, mm -hmm. and try to recover a little bit the presence of calcium ion that are coming from the tap water. So you have a better balance between calcium and sodium, and uh, if, possible, if it's possible to, to make a better coffee. Okay, so I get, so I, I just want to and kind of say the way to know your water, you, you have to test it. You just have to test yes, it, right? Yes, it's, it's the first thing to do. Uh, you cannot talk about anything, uh, what the coffee will be in the cup, how we will, my machine will look like in a couple of years, mm -hmm. if you don't know exactly with which water you are dealing with. And the only way to know which, um, how is the water characterized is to measure it. All right. Yeah. All right. Sergio, thanks so much for taking us through the testing of the water. Really appreciate you being here, traveling all the way to see us, uh, giving us some advice. I'm Mark. 
from a whole lot they love guys thanks for watching we hope to see you back here soon for more of the best on everything coffee brought to you by whole lot love bye